Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more of our Kenji Fogman only playthrough episode 20 with the series here. We find our fog group down here in uh, the drag, just kind of moving south. I've got a couple plans for this episode, and I think you guys are going to like it. So basically, um, we're taking this fog group, which consists of most of our heavy hitters. And uh, we're heading south through the drag. We're going to go into Vane here, try to skirt past some of these uh, high uh, villages that are all through Vane. There's a couple of things I want to loot. Down in the Sten Desert here, we've got Admag with uh, the UC. Or I'm sorry, I mean uh, the Shek. I don't want to run into any Shek groups because we would get, uh, we would definitely get uh, the crap beat out of us. But there is some ruins down here that are worth looting. Mainly for things like building materials and iron plates. Um, there's a ruin down here. And I know there's some ruins on these islands that I'd like to check out. So we're going to head down and hit all of those. See if we can get anything good. I may even, I don't know, try to snipe a hive village or something. We can maybe pull some hive warriors uh, just to steal their leather shirts, their hive shirts. And then we can equip those on our warriors. Um, Wells the group is heading south to do that though. I'll go ahead and queue uh, Quasar up to start making the run since he's leading the group right now if we take a look back at some of our other groups what is this just regular fogman we've got our research uh, resource group here but really they're just the guys that are sitting at home uh, bully here just had way too much stuff on him and I didn't want to lose any of it or have anything bad happen to it plus he's got food for the home base and medical supplies so he's just hanging out here and we've got uh, fo this fog prince and this fog heavy and Anara being led by Diablo. They're sort of going to be our home defense base until we get fully situated and then I'll figure something else out. But I don't think we're going to be attacked anyway. Um, but they're here just in case we ever needed them to do something. Say a Holy Nation Patrol wanders up here or something. Well, not that they could prevent anything, but better just leave somebody guarding anyways, just in case something bad happens. Um, we've got a couple people working in here. We've got Alice. She's uh, going to be doing research for us. And we've got this fog man. He's making lots of parchment. And this fog man here, he's um, making some uh, books for us to, uh, for Alice to use for research. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, upgrade some stuff. I'll actually uh, have this guy grab a bunch of this parchment. And yep, he'll put it right in the table. Nice. So yeah, things are going pretty good for us. We should be able to get all these books here uh, converted over to actual books that are usable, which would be nice. I'm looking forward to that. All right, uh, Alice, what do we want you researching next? We've got the stone mining. I've got another fogman here and he's going to be doing stone mining. As soon as he gets here, he's running this way. Uh, with some building materials so that I can actually build the stone mine. He's right here currently. He is running this way, right? Yeah, so he's going to take some time, though. He's got a backpack on full of crap. Uh, meanwhile, we could have another fogman get recruited. I'd like to recruit a bunch of these regular fogmen because they're going to make uh, great resources for the base. So this is what's nice about them just wandering through here. We'll literally be able to just get recruits by them coming through. Nice, we got another Fogman as well, because I want a Fogman that's operating the, that's mining the stone, and a Fogman that's uh, turning the stone into building mats. So having both of them will be useful. All right, and Quasar is on the move. Here's that Fogman, he's on his way this way. He's got a ton of crap on him, he's just, let's see. Must be this one. Oh, which one is it? Ah, it's this guy here. Yeah, so he's carrying a bunch of building mats and iron plates and everything, just in case we need them. This guy's actually in this group, so we'll need to put him over into the other, the home squad. All regular fogmen kind of hanging out in the home squad. Ooh, crap. You guys are not following Quasar anymore. There you go. Is Cups back to being the slowest again? Quasar had a damaged leg. That's why he was slow. Uh, they fought somebody. That's why. Over here, some hungry bandits or something. Yeah, just hungry bandits. It's not worth going back. Oh, cut his arm off. Good. 
All right, so yeah, let's have Cups go back to leading since he is the slowest now. Um, no idea why he's technically the slowest. He just is. I guess his athletics is pretty good, though. But he's just slow. So good to have him lead. What do we got? Holy Nation Outlaws here? Jesus. All right. You think there'd be a point where, like, certain groups might just avoid you? When you're at like a certain power, instead of thinking it's okay to attack you. <sighs> okay, we discovered another hive village. Do I want to pull some hives to get some shirts or do I want to move on past it? Let's see what we're dealing with. Because I may just move past it. Uh, there's only three, no, four buildings. It's not a big hive village, but hive villages always have large quantities of people in them. So they're still hard to usually attack. And their guards are, their soldier drones are no joke. There's a lot of them out here. But I don't think we're going to be attacking this hive village anytime soon. Although, well, we probably could start pulling some of these hive soldiers. I really think it'd be beneficial to get their sh the uh, shirts that they've got. Eventually, we need to take some of these so we can get some prints. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot for this episode. I mean, the whole point's war on the hive, and I think we're at that point where we do need to start attacking some of these hive villages if we're ever going to get some of the hive equipment, the different prints and stuff for ourselves. So we'll have Richard here do what he does best. And that's pulling mobs. Preserve the hive. Yeah, you guys are about to get it good, I'm going to tell you. This would be good practice for our whole group anyways. Yeah, Quasar going in there with a nice big punch right on the guy. Let's see uh, what this guy's got once we take him down. Boy, they're tough. I will tell. I will say that. But it looks like we actually will end up. He's going critical, so we will end up killing this guy because he just keeps standing. He can't even fight. All right. Hold on, Richard. Go ahead and loot this guy. You've earned it. Just a shoddy grade, but it's better than nothing. Basic production. That's actually a pretty, uh, pretty good weapon. That's not bad at all. Um, we could put it on uh, Billy if I wanted to take it. I think it would be nice to have. A training range. Come on. Guy's unconscious. He just keeps playing dead. There we go. Alright, Richard. Let's have you go pull a few more. I'd like to get some of those shirts. Even if they're shoddy grade. Ooh, they all like stopped. Now they're just all standing there. All creepy like. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight the whole hive. I do not want to fight the whole hive. Fight most of the hive. I don't want to fight the whole hive. All right. Let's uh, have Quasar here come give me a hand because I'm getting the crap beat out of me. We'll put Kugai on me as well. Um, these guys seem to be fine with what they're doing. Cops seems to have that under control. Um, put this fog heavy on him. He needs some practice anyways. All right, nice. Um, I'll go ahead and get myself a standard grade shirt. All right, I'm not going to take all of these. Richard, you're going to attack more people. Let's just uh, slow down a bit, buddy. Now you're getting too excited. 
Definitely take the med kits if I can. We'll take any shoddy grade. Yeah, I won't take all these, I guess. I mean, I could. But. Let's go ahead and get this stuff together. Okay, that's not gonna work, I guess. Who needs uh, shirts here? I think everybody does. I doubt uh, there's people that have them. So we'll go ahead and get uh, you guys equipped. That'll be great for keeping everybody alive. Now, some of you guys can't have shirts because whatever. But it looks like everybody but the fog heavy that we've got can. <sighs> that fog heavy's got some crap armor. I meant to swap his armor out earlier and I forgot. So I guess he could swap to some of these. Is there anything better than shoddy grade? No high grade, huh? Oh, you got a bone hammer as well. You've got a pull arm of 15, so why don't you go ahead and grab one of these glaives here. And get rid of the bone hammer. There, you'll be a pull arm fog now. All right, Richard, your, your job isn't done yet. Let's go. These are just regular worker drones. They're pretty easy probably to kill. All right, so what do we got here? Some iron plate storage, weird crate, leather tanning bench, small generator, clothing, some general storage boxes with a metal chest. So this is the kind of place we want to be looting. So I think we'll go ahead and pull everybody out of here. It's just a bunch of worker drones, few soldiers, but not that many. Um, but we'll definitely pull them. My character's always the one getting kicked in the face first. All right, hold on. Let's, let's be careful. We've got a lot of soldiers coming this way. All right, I'm down. That's fine. Let's just leave it. I'll help myself in a second. Okay, now we've pulled most of the hive. All right, so this could get a little dicey, but let's uh, go ahead and let it play out. I'm gonna wanna micromanage a little bit. I think Billy can handle himself. Uh, most of our units are fighting over here. And uh, they're gonna need be the ones that need the help the most. So let's make sure Quasar is on a soldier and uh, Billy too. All right, we've pulled three more soldiers. So we need Billy over here handling that. Uh, Cups can handle this soldier over here. The worker drones I'm not as worried about. Scoops is down though. Penguin's down it looks like. Quasar is definitely hurting. Billy's down. Tarsus is doing a good job though and Cups is all right. Richard, he's still up and he's actually in really good shape. And Elium as well. Sir Camo. Fighting a soldier by himself. Quasar's down now. Oof. All right, but Tarsus is going to give Sir Camo a, a hand. Come on, Richard. Don't let him get you. Can't put anybody on him to help him because everybody's down right now. Sir Camel went down. Now it's just Tarsus. Okay, Tarsus can give him a hand. Okay, most of the group is down. I'm back up though. I'll go fight this guy, see if I can take him down. Nice, nice, good shots. Okay, now it's just a bunch of drones and some soldiers that are still up. But I think we'll be all right. Uh-oh. Ilium lost his left leg. Oh, that's not good. 
Hold on, guys. Don't don't run off. We need some healing here. We need you guys to get the crawlers. How much of the soldiers was that? It's almost all of them. All right, pretty good. Pretty good. So that's like one of our first hives we've we've cleaned up really good. But boy, was it uh, costly. So it goes to show like where we are in terms of being ready for war. We're not really ready yet. Okay, let's start taking some of these guys' armor. For our hive guys. And taking their med kits so they can't heal. We should take their weapons as well so they can't use them, but uh, their weapons don't fit in any of the backpacks I got. That's usually the main problem. So I'll just uh, throw them all on Billy, but he's not up yet anyways. Hasty production. That's the worst one I've seen yet. But all of these uh, basic production, they're actually pretty good weapons, so we'll pick them all up. As soon as Billy's up, we'll we'll have him give us a hand here. I'll let Penwin handle that. Oh, here's one more I missed. All right, so yeah, like I said, we will. Uh, I think we've got every everybody's got these shirts except for that fog heavy. And the people at base, obviously. Okay, so we got a bunch of these shirts. They'll be handy for future Fogmen recruited. Let's go ahead, though, and throw this here. Oh, I like that. Look at They betray us. Oh, they betray us. The Fogmen, they've come. They've come for our units. They've come for our goods. That's right. You guys are in trouble now. You guys are in some trouble. Let's go ahead and do some first aid on Billy here. Let's keep him up and operational. Quasar's really damaged. Um, Sir Camo, you go ahead and take this guy out. Richard is crippled, but he, he hasn't lost his leg like Ilium. Ilium has completely lost his leg. Penwin, get this guy if you're going to get him. Oh, Ilium is uh, crippled. Who's dying? That fog heavy's dying. Okay, I'm unconscious. Scoops. Where is Kugai? He's up here. Uh... No, don't worry about chasing him, Kugai. Come on. We have people dying. Let's get down here. First aid for this fog heavy. Let's go. We've got uh, soldiers getting back up here. Where's Tarsus? Okay, Billy's back up. That's that's good. Okay. Don't worry about EM just yet. Get the get the fog heavy. Just make sure he's okay, he's in critical. Just make sure we keep him we keep him good here. Penwin, go uh, clean this guy up. Scoops, you all right? Yep, just unconscious. All right. Yeah, take that guy out. Well, Cups is back up, so that's good. He can clean some people up. Ilium is... Oh, he's healing himself, which... Yeah, I forgot Ilium's a medic. Yeah, heal yourself, and then you can get Quasar. Oh, I'm up. Good. I'll uh, go do some first aid on Scoops. That Fog Heavy is going to live? Yep, he's fine. Come on, Penguin. Head back. And then my boy Billy here, he's going to need some help. All right, so we can't fight anymore. 
Um, unless there's some small groups in here. I don't know how many are inside the huts. It looks like we've cleaned all the soldiers up outside. But yeah, we definitely cannot fight anymore. We're too beaten up. We gotta find a leg for Ilium though, which means we're gonna have to loot this uh, prosthetic place and just get him a crappy leg for now and we'll get him a better one later. Yeah, trade with Billy and then go ahead and do some first aid because I want to get all these uh, weapons off these guys. So if I can get Billy up, that'll be good. Um, Ilium, go ahead and do first aid on Quasar since you're right here. Perfect. All right, as soon as I'm healed up, I can actually probably head inside, do a little bit of stealth, see if I can get some stuff for us. Perfect, so our camo's up. All right, let's uh, see, is Billy up or is he recovery? He's in unconscious, so he'll get up here in a second. And Scoops is good, then we got the Fog Heavy. All right, cool guy, why don't you go pick up the Fog Heavy for now? We'll just keep him on us. Billy's up, that's good, so I can go ahead and go around and loot these weapons, which is what I want to do. Uh, not that, though. But I want to get the better ones, if we can. Let's do this. Hold on, can you get to this guy or not? Alright, I probably don't need all of these, honestly. Because we're not going to have that many Pullman. And I've got tons of weapons back at base that are, like, really good as well. So, but there's a handful of them and shirts that we can use. Alright, I'll grab my character up here, but let me first grab these, uh... Grab this sleeping bag and set that up. Yeah, we can get some people healed up right outside the hive area while well, I, well, I work on heading in to find a leg for Ilium. All right, boy, everybody's got to heal. Penguin, we'll start with you since you've got a pretty nasty limp. Everybody else I'm going to put on hold so that way they don't, uh, they don't go running in while well, I'm uh, looting. And it is nighttime. All right, three, four workers, five workers, okay? We can handle workers if we need to. I'm going to come back around this opposite side, though. If I don't have to, I'm not going to. Well, we could handle them. We'll probably end up pulling them just so we can deal with them because I'm not going to be able to steal anything. There's nothing free in here, like, nothing free floating. Everything's going to be inside here. All right, let's see what's inside the chest. We're hoping for some good blueprints. Okay, this isn't bad either. I'll take the sleeping bags for sure. I can never have too many of those. Repair kits, I mean, all this is stuff we want. Um, let's take those and go set them up, actually. Because if I get everybody healed up... Oop. If I get everybody healed up out here, then we'll be able to clear out um, these build the rest of these buildings. And then this will be... If we can actually get this pretty much dead, that'd be great. Because I could take uh, Tarsus and Kugai, and that'll be enough to finish these guys up. And I'll have everybody else out here healing up in the process. 
Let's pick up Quasar. We can put him here in the bed. And Sir Camo, you go get some sleep. All right, so I'll take me and Tarsus and Kugai. Oh, you're carrying that fog heavy. Uh, me, Tarsus, and Richard. Ah, uh, he's got a bad limp. Okay. Scoops? Yeah, we'll take scoops. All right. Don't worry, Richard. We'll get you in there. We're just going to get you rested up first. It's just a couple workers. I think we can handle it. Ooh, and one soldier that's crawling on the ground. Clean him up real quick. And this is some good practice for everybody anyways. Oh, hold on, where am I going? We're not trying to take the whole village on just yet. Get in here. Alright, let's uh, keep taking stuff here. There was some good stuff here we wanted. Huh. Why 64? Who's This guy is definitely dead. So who's giving me a hard time? This guy. Okay. Well, I'll get caught stealing, but I don't see who's catching us. But we'll take this. I've got the repair kits, which I'm going to want for cups. Chainmail just to sell. We'll take the cats. Ah, uh, the gr oh, that's an empty grab can, and then I'm not worried about fuel. All right, building mats because that's actually, believe it or not, well, we, <laughs> you know, we're really not going to need the building mats because we're we're going to be able to get our own uh, set up here, so we don't need that technically. But you know what? I lied. We'll take it because there's a possibility that we might not even have enough building mats to set up building mats. Can I use this? No, okay. It's always good to check. Uh, fabrics, yes, but no. Not gonna worry about fabrics. Nice. We'll take those. Because they got nutritional value. Keep working on my sneak. This is helping my thieving a lot too, so it's not a bad thing. Uh, oh, cool. Ah, prototype though. Empty grog can. That's a shame. What about this one? I'll take that. Everything else, though, is not as important. All right, so I think I've got everything that was in here that was of value. Okay, I'll need these guys to help me loot some other stuff. Let's uh, head back here, though, real quick. I'll drop the stuff off on Billy. So this will be our first uh, Hive Village cleared if we get the whole thing done. That'll be nice. So the war with the Hive finally actually kicking off here a little bit. Now, these guys all still need lots of uh, rest. It'll be a while before they're ready to go. All right, so some of this will be for trading. Some of it will actually be for using. I don't really need the food on me. It's fine if it's not on Billy. I'd rather have the space right now. And I'll, I'll keep those there too. All right, Scoops and Tarsus, I guess you guys are coming back with me still. And if one of these guys heal up all the way, I'll go ahead and throw that uh, heavy on the bed too. All right, we've got to check out the general store. That might be where there's blueprints and then obviously prosthetics for Ilium is the big thing. Because if not, then we're going to have to carry him around and I'll have to go all the way to the Black Desert City or something. It'll be a mess. So we've got to find some type of prosthetic for him. 
Right. How many people do we think are inside the general store? That's the question of the hour. Now, Scoop says nice limp now. All right, so we've got one, two, ah, yikes. See, this is what I was worried about because we don't have the power with us to take this on. We got a uh, four soldier drones and the hive trader who's actually pretty powerful himself. But if we can get these guys cleared out, we've got standard first aid kits, uh, splint kits, bread, chain mail sheets, building mats, water jugs. There's food here. And I bet all of these are full of crap as well. And then we've got a metacrate. It's empty though. We do have some wooden chests though that are secured. And we've got this metal chest here. Oh, a soldier drone heavy. He is wearing some awesome looking armor. I want that armor, but run. Okay, we didn't pull him. Interesting. Interesting. We could probably fight him with Billy and Cups. I kind of wish I had a Nara here now. I'm regretting that, not bringing her. All right, heal up Scoops. Do we have a splint kit? Yeah, can we put that on Scoops? Help us help him move a little bit quicker here. Not worried about these guys. All right, I'm going to run over real quick and check these uh, other two places out. See what I'm dealing with. Take this guy out first. I could use him, work on my stats anyways a little bit. Okay, his arms are messed up from obviously fighting us earlier. So I'll go for this guy. Nice. Well, I'm going for the legs here. A nice chest. There's his arm. Crip uh, there, crippled his arm. He can't use his weapon, and he's down. All right, let me check out the prosthetic area. Be careful. Daytime's coming. All right, so just as I expected, just like the other place, we've got uh, actually not nearly as bad. Two guards, oh, three guards, and a drone, plus the shopkeeper himself, who's pretty beefed up. Hmm. <sighs> I can't talk to these guys. They won't uh, trade with me. Oh, it says that I can talk with them. I shouldn't be able to. All the hives should be enemies for us. Um, Southern Hive... Negative 100. Western Hive, negative 100. What about just the Hive? I don't... I don't see them here. I don't even know if these... What, what are these guys considered? Western Hive then? All right. Let me check this area real quick. Probably just a bunch of, yeah, there's a ton more soldiers and drones in here. Boy, what a pain. All right, so the prosthetics and the general store, I need to hit both of these, so I'm gonna gather up a group of people to do it. Um, any of you guys, Penguin's looking a lot better. Quasar could probably fight if he's, yeah, he's not in a recovery coma anymore. I'm going to need the animals. They're pretty important for our mission. So let me pick him up real quick and get him off the bed. So he can fight uh, with us with these guys. Scoops, uh, I think will be fine. Richard, you need to rest up, but I need Koo guys. So he's going to get this fog heavy off of him to rest. Um, I'll take cups. And I'll take Billy. Billy's really rough, too. He might go down quick. All right, Richard, you're going to stay here and watch the boys with Ilium. Whilst I go and clean this up. I'm going to keep these guys on hold for a second because I want to make sure they don't do anything crazy. 
Is this the guy with both his limbs? No. All right, so technically the prosthetic store would make the most sense to get the the this this guy here. Come on, get him. <laughs> he keeps dodging everything. There he goes. There we go. A couple hits on him. There he's down now. He's gonna die too. There's no way that he's gonna stand up after that. Oh, he's playing dead. Damn, this is a hell of a fog, man. Um, yeah, so the product, prosthetic limbs makes the most sense to go after right now because then we can get a leg for Ilium versus the general store as much as I'd rather go for the general store first. All right, so I'm going to pull the workers out here because I can't go inside there with the animals unless I pick them up. So I'll have uh, Tarsus go in there because he could probably take the most hits if he starts getting beat up. Okay, here we go. All right, nice. And I'll go ahead and break everybody up. So let's put Tarsus on this back guy here with scoops. And we'll have me and Quasar take this guy. We'll have Billy help the back guy as well. And then Kugai go for the shopkeeper with cups. And then we should have another guy coming out here in a second. I thought there was one more. There is, but he decided not to come, which is fine by me. Ah, now he's going to get involved. I was worried about that. Tarsus, you're going to have to turn around and fight him. Uh, Billy's, like, down. He's pretty rough. But the shopkeeper's crippled, so that's good. He pretty much puts him out of the fight. We've almost got this guy down. All right, nice. I'm going to head inside and give Tarsus a hand. Uh, Quasar, you can stay out here. And uh, knock these guys down when they get back up. Same with you, cops. You guys can't go in anyways. And Kugai. All right. Where am I? Okay. I got knocked out, huh? Oh, boy. All right. How long till I get up? 114, okay. And Billy, but everybody else is good. Yeah, if we could kill some of these guys, that'd be perfect. And uh, Scoops is down as well, but he'll be all right. Tarsus doing a little bit of medical here. He can first aid me real quick. Because then I, uh, uh, there we go, so. Um, let me see. So what do we got here? Standard grade. We're definitely going to take that. That's better than what we usually have. The standard grade one, then I'll go ahead and put on scoops right now because I know he has a shoddy grade. All right, cool guy. Get out here and do some first aid for Billy because he's going to be pretty important. Actually, cool guy. Where's the shopkeeper? He's got standard grade. He's got high. None of this is really that good. I'll pick his weapon up, though. I can actually disarm all these guys, so let me do that. Because he's got the slot here to do it. So let's just disarm these guys and get it out of the way. Ah, damn it. Where'd these guys come from? All right, take that. Just in case they get back up. All right, I think with cups and everything, we'll be okay. It's just one guard and some regular fogmen. The guard's the biggest concern. The regular fogmen will be easy. Okay, two guards. They're coming out of this hut here. That's fine. We're going to clear it out anyways. Give Kugai a hand there, Quasar. Cups can handle this for sure. I think he should be able to. If he doesn't take another hit to his chest. Ah, damn it. That's what I was worried about. Okay. Another soldier. All right, Tarsus. You and Kugai, Praetorians, make me proud. Nope, stop him. Don't let him heal. Hmm, okay. Okay, this is getting dicey now. The regular Fogman, I'm not, or the regular uh, Hive, I'm not as worried about, but I'm definitely worried about the uh, soldiers here. Quasar is definitely going to go down. He's critical now. Billy's back up, though. 
Thank God. He's stuck. Crap. Twi Tarsus, quick. Do what you do best, Billy. Actually, Quasar really holding his own here. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting us to do that much damage. All right, let's uh, get these guys disarmed real quick. Ku guy's pretty good for this. Because they're just going to keep getting up if we don't. And being a problem. Plus, I could take all their med kits. It's not like we're not using them. We're totally using them. Right, especially right now. Nice. All right, how am I? Recovery coma, scoops. What about you guys back here? How's everybody holding up? Penguin's almost healed. And Sir Camel's looking good. All right, Penguin, I think uh, we could utilize you. Richard could use the rest, so. And Penguin, you're a medic, so we could definitely use you. I'm probably gonna have you go inside and do some looting anyways. But uh, we'll actually save that for the next one since we're out of time anyways. I think now's a good time to cut it. Nice. So we will actually clear this whole fog village. I know that we can clear out these guys as well. So this is a pretty good... Um, I didn't actually get a chance to go, go work on our base yet, but we'll get there at some point. Ooh, I got to get that guy moving again too. But uh, we'll go there and, and uh, set some stuff up. I may even just do a little bit off camera there. Just get the stone and stuff set up. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll clean up this high village. It'll be our first one that we've actually taken out, which would be kind of cool. And from there, we're going to keep heading south uh, towards some of these ruins. Actually, I lied. We'll probably break this way and head towards some of these ruins. But at some point, I'll find a place to camp so all of our guys can do some research. and Or I'm sorry, not do some research. Uh, do some resting and then we'll uh, push forward. I'm hoping we'll get some good stuff from this hive settlement. With that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.